the product that revolutionized the roofing industry. A name everyone now knows more efficient than any other product from the competition. The manufacturer spares no praise when presenting this product. By the way, there is a housing shortage in the UK, and many experts believe that it will not be solved soon. According to estimates, the country needs about a million homes, while only 150 to 200,000 are built each year. That's why equipment that can speed up construction is a must. This hoist, for example, lifts about 1,000 tiles onto the roof in less than 25 minutes. Two people can easily handle the assembly. The reverse drive option allows the old material to be sent down directly to the back of the truck. The hoist can be rented for a week for $157. Now let's go to Australia, a country where there are 3.3 times more sheep than people. Interestingly, back in 2013, experts made some calculations and found that Australia was comparable to France and Germany in terms of real estate prices. However, more than 40% of construction companies declared losses due to expensive construction costs. To make construction more economical, local professionals came up with a polymer formwork with holes in it. It's easy to use, just cut the formwork to match the required parameters and fill it with concrete. The manufacturer claims that the formwork withstands magnitude. Nine earthquakes is resistant to aggressive chemical products, including sulfuric and hydrochloric acids, is easy to transport and doesn't require cranes, can be in permanent contact with seawater and sewage water, and costs up to five times less than other options. You can choose the formwork for standard projects on the website in a special configurator. The price will be disclosed to you after submitting an application and specifying the details of the project. On June the 12, 2019, cracks appeared on the US Route 36, a highway connecting two cities in Colorado. Surely thereafter, the roadway collapsed completely. Fortunately, no one was injured but it was necessary to begin planning for the repair. Two factors were important in repairing the damaged sections, speed, and safety. The experts chose EPS blocks, a lightweight but durable material that helps to significantly reduce the load on the ground. It's at more than 6,100 blocks in two months of hard work to complete the project. The final volume of the blocks was more than 24,000 cubic yards, and they were manufactured in six factories. More than 200 trucks were used for transportation, and the dimensions of each block were 98 by 48 by 40 inches. Older buildings often have poor insulation, among other problems. Because of this, even though the heating is on maximum, it's still cold. Often up to 85% of the energy consumed ends up outside leading to condensation, mold, mildew, and other issues. The problem can be solved with extruded polystyrene foam panels, such as these. Proper installation reduces heat loss by 43%, and the panels can be painted and wallpapered. However, there's a 24 to 48 hour wait. It's also an excellent solution for buildings of historical value, believe the designers. The boards are only not one to not five inches thick, so they won't take up much space either. And because the material's lightweight, it's easy to transport, carry, and install on your own. Aerojil was created in 1931 and has been widely used ever since, from the space industry to construction sites, and also in this plaster. The liquid in the aerogel has been replaced by gas, resulting in a nano-porous structure. The final material is composed of more than 90% air, is highly resistant, and can withstand temperatures between 1832 and minus 418 degrees Fahrenheit. Add AERO gel to the plaster, and you get an incredibly versatile option that can be used to insulate buildings and restore monuments. Aero gel based plaster retains its ease of manual and mechanical processing, and according to the German Institute for Standardization, 
only need a not made inch thick layer of it to achieve the necessary levels of thermal insulation. Do you know how huge today's roof tile market is? The brass company's products are used by at least 1.6 million households worldwide every year. Meanwhile, the Robin Company believes that half of European houses are roof with the tiles produced exactly by them. That's why these instructional videos are quite popular. A video on how to lay tiles, writes the Norwegian author. In just a few minutes, he manages to show the key aspects of the work and points out that this video is the first chapter of a multi-part tutorial on the construction of a garage. As usual, the opinions of users are divided. Some are convinced that the work is good, while others have found many errors and would not do the same. What do you think? Time to go to Italy. This country is one of the world's leading producers of plastic and steel pipes and is also home to the world's fifth largest cement manufacturer. That's why they're always ready to offer practical and affordable solutions. For construction projects such as this modular formwork, the manufacturers focus on sustainability using recycled polypropylene as the main material. This formwork is ideal for large-scale projects. For example, it was once used to build a 4,000-space parking garage. The system combines ease of assembly, good drainage properties, and lightweight. The height of the tubes varies according to the customer's wishes, with a standard diameter of 5 inches. The standard size of the fittings is 23 by 23 by 6 inches. The price is available to customers after inquiry. This US-made robot, which became fully operational in 2021, is very useful. The statistics are impressive. Once on a bridge project in Florida, it completed 11,044 ties in one day. That's about 1,100 ties per hour. And the robot doesn't care about the time of day or the weather. Thanks to its computer vision technology, this robot operates with precision and accuracy and is capable of tying knot 3-inch and not 35-inch rebar across a width of up to 100 feet. The manufacturers promise productivity gains of at least 150%. It takes no more than half a shift to get it ready for work. The robot is available for both purchase and rental, with all details depending on the project. In Switzerland, a team of experts offers a brand new approach to construction with the help of robotics. According to them, the preparation of materials has long been automated, but assembly is still done by humans, so they propose a method of digital timber construction. The system receives a digital draft of the structure, inspects it, and determines which components are needed. Then, manipulators choose the boards and beams, assemble them into the required elements, and place them into the right places of the structure. The only problem is that the system doesn't yet know how to put the elements together, so it still needs human help. But overall, the new robot is already faster than a human, and it has a great future. It closes the gap between design, planning, and execution, say the manufacturers. An alternative to asphalt and concrete, say the creators of this universal grid system. The elements may look fragile, but the load-bearing capacity is up to 15 tons per square foot. This means the system can be used in many locations from playgrounds to parking lots. This product is made from recycled high-density polyethylene, making it environmentally friendly. The construction of each element allows grass to grow unhindered and facilitates drainage. One version measures 51.1 by 21 by 1.8 inches, and the grids can be easily and cleanly cut if necessary. Connecting the grids together is easy and makes the job fast and simple. The price per square meter of material is about $30. Germany is also working hard. 
They build houses so actively there that some newspapers refer to it as the country of empty apartments. In 2018, there were about 2 million empty apartments in Germany, fully finished and ready for tenants. Of course, Germans are not only building apartment buildings but also parks around them. These ground anchors are great help, as they're designed specifically for lampposts, signs, fences, benches, and other landscaping elements. The idea is to minimize the use of concrete. The alpha version allows no concrete to be used at all, and the city version requires up to 80% less concrete. This saves up to 419 pounds of concrete per installation, which reduces greenhouse gas emissions and makes the job much easier. Our next destination is Japan. This country leads the world in the production of industrial robots, with about 45% of the world's supply. And every year, Japanese developments advance. Further check out this humanoid robots, the fifth generation of the HRP series. It can carry a 29 pounds payload and is capable of installing drywall completely autonomously. It weighs 223 pounds and stands 72 inches tall. It has a total of 37 degrees of freedom cameras on both arms and 3D sensors. The creators are confident that the model can even help build airplanes and ships. The design is based on more than 20 years of research on humanoid robots. The casing is designed to withstand the harsh conditions of construction sites, and the smart software allows it to recognize objects and notice changes around it. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more content. We'll see you in the next video.